afternoon baseball on it. Now at the plate, Matt Carpenter. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for St. Louis. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Down and away, ball one. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. 83 degrees here at first pitch. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man has gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. What's going to be the key for him today, Mark? Taking a look at this lineup, they're going to have to work the count. That's the key to success right here. They have to find a way to drive this guy's pitch count up and get into that bullpen as quick as possible. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And the changeup is way low that time. Green, a right hander standing 6 foot 3. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Just getting started at the Rogers Center. And he takes strike three called. And it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. Here's Matt Adams now looking to at least put the ball in play here this inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. And boy they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there and it's 0-2 now. And that slider is almost in the dirt. That misses. It's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. This one misses and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Three up. Stepping in, Brett Gardner. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the Yankees. Here's the first pitch to him. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Line to the right side. And Gardner's going to reach. It's a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Get hard back up the middle. Oh, look at Wong! One there on to first, and they get the double play. Batting third, designated hitter, John Carlos. Jake Carlos Stanton now. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to happen. Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out the straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that. Blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. 
Didi Gregorian. Right. Oh, yeah. Take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The one one. Hit softly on the ground to first. Adams is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run. And now the Cardinals' number four hitter, Marcelo Zuna, a silver slugger recipient for National League outfielders a year ago. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense tonight. And let's focus our attention on shortstop Didi Gregorius. Not only has this guy been knighted, yes, they call him Sir Didi back in his homeland, Curacao. He's one of the best ball players coming down the pike, starting with Andrew Jones, Xander Bogarts, and it's Didi Gregorius' this time. Hits from the left side of the plate with power and the ability to go in the hole with one of the strongest arms in the game. Sliced hard on the ground. Boy, moving to his right, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Try to check it, and it's 0-1. Popped him up. Voigt is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Ready now, Aaron Hicks. He's set off to lead Yankees. off the home half of the second. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's a ball. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Lifted in the air out to center field. Bader is there. And that's the first out of the inning. The St. Louis Cardinals attack you on defense in this fashion. And guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today is in today's game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. In now, Gary Sanchez, the American League's silver slugger behind the plate a year ago. A swing by Sanchez, and this one soaring out into left field. Into the second deck and gone. No doubt an impressive home run, so we'll employ show track for a more in-depth look. 112 miles an hour was the exit velocity off the bat, so it's no wonder why it ended up having the impressive distance that it did. And now, Luke Boyd. Flares this one over toward first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. Back now on MLB Network as we welcome you back to Toronto and Rogers Center. Settling in now, number 41. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off to third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Ball one. Two balls and a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. High.
high in the air down the right field line. Judge is under it. He's got it one away. So digging in now, Colton Wong. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. One and one the count now. Here it comes on one and one. He pulls this one into right, but he'll barely have to move out there in right as he hauls this one in for the second out. And that will bring up the former top prospect Harrison Bader. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. And that one stayed too low apparently. Still a little bit early to be worrying about this but in a two run game a two out walk right here could at least get the tying run to the plate. And on top of that there's some pop on that on deck circle. Count even now at one and one. Cardinals have been held out of the hit column here. Drilled to first. Boyd is up with it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And 2 and 0 now as this misses below the knees. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And it's gone. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Here's Brett Gardner now. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Second at bat here, he reached via a single to lead off the home first. Lifted in the air to center. Moving under it, Bader. Makes the play, one away. Here's big Aaron Judd. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Line hard, but this is a foul ball. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Digging in for his second at bat, Giancarlo Stanton. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. The last at bat, Nettie D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. The one one home is taken for ball two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now batting. Right fielder. Riding in once again, Jose Martinez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. 
He's been pitching really well so far in this one as we cruise into the middle innings. One of the big reasons why 80% first pitch strike ratio. If he continues that, he might be able to finish this one. Hit to first to his right Voigt. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. At the plate, Matt Adams was a strikeout victim in his first try. First pitch of the at bat. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. A bouncer to the left side. That's the first hit in this one for the Redbirds. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Popped him up. Sanchez shading to his right. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Didi Gregorius. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Slapped hard the opposite way. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Now with the plate, Aaron Hicks. He flew out in his last at bat. And a fastball just misses for ball one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much and wind up a foul ball. The 1 1 home. Swing and a high pop up toward the stands behind third. Under it is Carpenter, and that's out number two. Now batting. Here's Miguel Andahar now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Liner towards second, but this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. home finds the zone strike one hit to short taken in by Gregorius and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away so the leadoff man retired here that'll bring up Yadier Molina Here's the first pitch to him. No balls and a strike to count. The wind up and the 0 1. Hit out towards second. Torres picks it up. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. The batter, number Digging 41. in now, number 41 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses ball one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. He pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is into third with a two out triple. 
and you have to like a center fielder that's willing to sell out and go for broke there, but he just can't make the play as the ball sails over his outstretched glove. And by the time he tracks it down, it's just too late for him to hold the batter at second. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Hey, he's going to have to forget about that triple right there and bear down on this next batter. Have confidence in his catcher if he wants to bounce something and be on the attack. Two outs here with a runner at third. Just a bit low, ball three. And it's up to a 3 2 full count now. Here's the 3 2. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Stepping in, Gary Sanchez. Yeah, that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton, he didn't hit it a country mile. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Dan, yeah, they're absolutely knocking a couple off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting that night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, d Row, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Tapper up the line on the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Number 25. Standing in, Gleiber Torres. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight in the background. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Here's Brett Gardner now. Uh, so way down a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. There goes Torres off of first. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. We'll try it again from first. Not in time. He's in there at second. Ready for another shot now. Aaron Judge was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone. Carlo Stanton now. John Carlos. Hard on the ground towards short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Wow, I think he took it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. Here comes the 0-1. Now a bunt attempt here. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Right side, but it's well fouled.
can't connect with the bunt attempt and that's a strikeout and that ends the inning. And that'll bring up the former top prospect Harrison Bader. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah only two hits so far Matt and not very many. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. A.J. Cole takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. The 0-2 delivery. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. So striding forward now, Matt Carpenter. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter. When we talk about best hitters in our sport, I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. And a strike to even the count. One and one. One and two now. Cole. Playing here in his age 26 season. He was a fourth round selection back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey this middle round selection is still developing. But he's doing it at the big league level. And he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Made a miss on the off speed pitch that time. Oh, Matt Carpenter sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Rounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is number 43 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 43. Ready once again, Aaron Hicks. It was a flyout for him in his last trip sent in the air out to straightaway center and that'll get down for a base hit next for New York Miguel Andujar hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat but it resulted in a line out first offering on its way Hicks running from first and now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down but this is foul for the first strike He's on the move again from first. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. The tag, and he is out at third base. It's a double play. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. Two home runs and two at-bats so far, and looking to add to that here. Yeah, Matt, that last at-bat, that was a pretty good pitch. A fastball down and away that he went out and hooked and pulled it. So if I'm on the mound right now I'm going to have to think about throwing one up and in and standing this guy up to make that outside corner not as appealing. Six runs eight hits and no errors for the Yankees so far. And a check swing did he go around. No says the first base umpire it's ball one. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. Luke Boyd is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1 0. Popped him up. The young. Over to his left, and that's the third out. So coming to the plate Matt Adams a hit in two tries for him so far starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one 
a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Cole has it, and it's a quick out number one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that one just missed outside. Swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Now the one and one pitch. Chopped in front of home plate. On to first, and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Now batter. Stepping into the box, Paul DeYoung. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? Three and oh now. Three balls and a strike to the Cardinal shortstop. Bases are empty here with two men out. Drilled right back up the middle. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Stepping into the box, Lyber Torres. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Hit the other way out toward right field. Martinez is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Brett Gardner. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. Tried to drag but himself on there. Didn't work, and he probably won't try it for a second time, but the defense still has to respect it. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Here's big Aaron Judge. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. He's certainly done an amazing job right here. Grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three, four, five with no one on base next day. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That was pretty obvious in live action that that ball was hit hard. And after analyzing it with our show track technology, we see that our eyes did not deceive us. 114 miles an hour was the exit velo. An impressive swing of the bat. Standing in now, Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. A ball and a strike now. The one one home. Fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole. Judge stands at second with two gone. Another one sent foul. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Fouled off. Hey, I'm loving this right now. Classic battle. Five foul balls in a row. I'd love to see this next one put in play for sake of pace of play, but I love the fact that he's battling. Hit in the air out to center field. Bader has a play. And that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that.
swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. And we're going to have a quick stoppage here as a beach ball has made its way into right field. Now the one and one pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Two and two to the Cardinals catcher. The two two. And he takes strike three called on the fastball one gone. Digging in and looking for more number forty one one for two number with 41. a triple so far in this one. Swung on and missed its 0 and 1. A fastball that just misses inside. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball close, but he didn't get it 2 and 1. Three and one to the Cardinals left fielder. Well, this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1, and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. A little bouncer. That veers foul, so they'll do it again on three and two. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Colton Wong, 0 for 2 for him to this point. First delivery to him on the way. Fly ball out to straightaway left. Oh, and he misses it. And this is going to get to the wall now out near the Toronto bullpen. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. How about it? The next to bat for St. Louis, Harrison Bader. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And here's a fastball called for strike one. One and one. Here's the one and one delivery. Breaking ball in for a strike. Two out here and a runner at second. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Striding forward now, the Yankee Leading cleanup the hitter, Yankee. Didi Gregorius. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Bro will not be in time as a perfect bunt there nets him a base runner to lead off the inning. Up next for the Yankees. So stepping in, Aaron Hicks. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did that as well. First pitch coming. Here it is. Runners on the move for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. And they got him. Boy, Molina put that one right where it needed to be. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base run. And he'll beat the throw to first despite a fantastic effort. And that ought to be scored in the field single. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. He went deep back in the fifth. 
Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Two outs. It's not every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down like him getting down the first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I tell you what, if you, there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle. It doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a, gla a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. Runner going a second time. Pitch outside the throw. And he is out at second. Here's Matt Carpenter. And Dan he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really they offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Tried. Dylan Batensis takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 68, Dylan Batensis. To two balls and two strikes now. On the ground near home. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, right here. Digging in, Jose Martinez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 is a ball below the zone. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. You know, he fell behind 2-0, Matty, but he battled right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball middle of the zone. Called strike two. One out, nobody on. The 2-2 one more time. Is looked at and the count moves full. Matt Adams is on deck. A payoff pitch one more time. Yeah. Swung on and missed. He got him. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, Pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. The 1 0 is chased out of the zone for strike one. When your team is behind this late in the game, it's not a good look for you as a hitter to show no discipline and wave at a pitch that wasn't even sniffing the zone. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Ball two. Two out, nobody on. Cardinals down to their final strike here. So a full count now. And now he'll step off as they look for a strikeout pitch. Fouled away. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. And another foul ball. There's ball four. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Previous history against Dellen Batansis. Small sample, a perfect one for one. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Adams, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Boy, he set her cut that fastball. It comes in in the high 90s, but that's a dangerous location, no matter how hard you're throwing. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over.
Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 6-0, the final shutout score today. The Yankees jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Chad Green pitches well enough to get the W. Number 39 permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Time to the ball. Two hours.